just want to stress that the investigation right now is preliminary. Uh, we're still uh, actively involved out here at, at this scene as well as in the initial uh, scene where officers responded to. So I just want to stress that you know the information is subject to change, but we wanted to give you guys enough information for you to be able to put it out. So what we know so far is that at about 1.30 this afternoon, we received a call on Ava Court and Valerie Drive in San Jose of a man uh, that was naked and acting erratically. Our officers arrived and attempted to make contact with the suspect, but he got into a car. Um, eventually, uh, he tried to flee the scene and rammed uh, a San Jose police car. Our officers were involved in a pursuit uh, with the suspect. During the pursuit, the suspect was involved in at least one traffic collision uh, with a, 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 a citizen. Eventually, uh, he ended up in this area out here by Stevens Creek and Lawrence Expressway. Uh, because of the different uh, collisions that he was involved in, his car was partially disabled. Uh, the suspect ended up rolling into the parking lot across the street um, on, here in Stevens Creek and Lawrence. Uh, our officers attempted to make the car stop and take the suspect into custody. During that encounter, multiple officers fired at the suspect. He was struck at least once. The suspect was taken into custody and, and uh, transported to a local hospital. And um, he is listed uh, with life-threatening injuries. Uh, the case is being investigated by the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office as well as the San Jose Police Department Homicide Unit. And that's the preliminary information that I have for you guys at this time. Was the suspect armed at the time the officer well, again, I don't have all the particular details as to what caused the shooting. So once we find out additional information, we'll be able to pass it along to you guys. How many officers fired? I don't know the exact number, but there was at least one. Uh, there was multiple, so I don't know how many. More than one. Maybe. There was more than one. There was, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say exactly because, again, that's all under investigation, and, and I don't have that, the details of that. Number of shots? Probably. I don't, I don't know. There was multiple officers involved. Okay. Yeah. At least one officer Yes. So you know what? You said he was naked and uh, doing something. What, what precipitated all this? Drugs or what, what, what's going on? Well, I mean, it's a good question, Jesse. We don't we don't know at this point what 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 happened, what caused the suspect to act the way he was acting erratically. So that's all part of the investigation. That right now we don't have an answer for for you guys. Okay, what was that again, Janine? So you said the suspect crashed into a citizen wall, something happened in the back seat, so the citizen, I'm assuming, you guys in a car when he's on the road? Yeah, right, uh, yeah, he, exactly. So during the pursuit, he collided with another car. Not a police car, but another car. But he kept on going. Is that person injured? I don't know the details of, of that either, unfortunately. Was he driving a pickup truck? I don't know. I don't know what he was driving. I mean, you saw he just got here, and I don't know those details. Well, I don't want to speculate because I, I don't know those details. I mean, you guys could, you know, I don't want, I don't know what he was driving. Have the officers made an attempt to try and stop him or, you know, get him out of the car? So what were the steps that they took before they fired? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, what led the officers to shoot at the suspect. You know, that's part of our investigation right now.